Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Welcome to the world of open source intelligence. This is your guide to digital self-defense. Today your life is an open book. Every post, every photo, every account you create leaves a trail. These digital breadcrumbs form a detailed map of your life. Anyone can follow this map if they know how. This guide will show you the tools they use. It will teach you how to see yourself as an investigator would. This is not about fear. This is about awareness and control. Your privacy is your responsibility. It is time to learn how to protect it in a world that wants you to share everything. This information is for everyone. You do not need to be a technical expert. You do not need a background in security. You only need the desire to understand your digital footprint. The tools we will discuss are powerful. They are also freely available to anyone with an internet connection. Bad actors use them. Law enforcement uses them. Now, you will learn to use them on yourself. This is your chance to find your own vulnerabilities before someone else does. Open source intelligence or OSINT sounds complex. It is not. It is simply the practice of collecting information from publicly available sources. These sources are all around you. Social media sites, public records, search engines, forums, news articles, OSINT is not hacking. It does not involve breaking into systems or accessing private data. It is the art of finding the dots and connecting the dots that are already in plain sight. This accessibility makes OSINT powerful and potentially dangerous. Anyone can become a digital detective. Think about your daily online activities. Same username on Twitter, same username on Instagram, same username on a gaming forum, post a photo of your new car with the license plate visible, check in at your favorite coffee shop on Facebook. Each of these actions is a single piece of a puzzle. An OSINT practitioner takes these pieces and assembles them. Suddenly, a complete picture of you emerges. Free and user-friendly tools have democratized the ability to investigate people. Magret is a simple yet incredibly effective tool. Its sole purpose is to find online accounts by username. You provide it with a single username, and it rapidly checks thousands of websites. It scours social media networks, forums, creative platforms, and more. Within moments, it returns a list of every site where that username is registered. This is the foundation of many online investigations. A username is often the first thread an investigator pulls. It can connect a person's anonymous forum persona with their public social media profile, bridging the gap between their private and public lives. Imagine you use the username SurfDog22 for everything. You use it for your professional LinkedIn profile, your personal Instagram account, and a niche political forum where you express strong opinions. Someone who only knows your forum handle can use Magrit to find your other profiles. They can discover where you work, see photos of your family, and learn your real name. This is how online harassment campaigns often begin. The privacy lesson here is critical. Use unique usernames. Eye of God is a well-known tool within the Telegram ecosystem. It operates as a series of bots within the messaging app. These bots claim to access vast databases of leaked information. Users can query the bot with a piece of information such as a phone number, an email address, a name. The bot then searches its databases and returns any associated data it finds. This might include other phone numbers, physical addresses, social media profiles, data from past security breaches. It acts as a powerful pocket-sized search engine for personal information. The danger lies in its accessibility and the data it aggregates. It pulls info from countless breaches into one searchable place. For example, a stalker might have your phone number. They feed that number into the bot. The bot might return an old address from a food delivery breach, an email address from a social media leak, a username from a hacked forum. In minutes, the stalker has a much more complete profile. The self-defense lesson? Protect your core identifiers, especially your phone number. Treat your primary phone number like your social security number. If a service needs a phone number for verification, consider a voice over IP number. When one account is breached, the damage is contained. Namichk is a tool similar to Magrit, but with a slightly different focus. It checks availability of a username and brand name across dozens of social networks and domain names. While Magrit finds existing accounts, Namichk finds usernames available everywhere. Enter your usernames, see all platforms where you have accounts, fast visual map of your digital presence. Have I Been Pido Yund, HIBP, is a different but vital service, created by Troy Hunt, a massive searchable database of data breaches. Enter your email address. It shows if that email appears in tracked breaches. It will tell you which site was breached and what data was exposed. Passwords, birth dates, physical addresses, simple, free, essential. Your early warning system for a compromised identity. The lesson is twofold. 
First, use Namek to take inventory. Discover accounts tied to your usernames. Find services you no longer use. Delete those accounts. Fewer active accounts equals smaller attack surface. Second, use Have I Been Pedo Yuned regularly. Check all your email addresses. If an account is compromised, change that site's password immediately. If you reuse that password, change it everywhere else. Digital Hygiene 101. Intel X or Intelligence X is a powerful search engine that goes far beyond Google. It indexes data from a wide variety of sources, data leaks, the dark web, archived web pages. You can search for a username, email address, domain name, cryptocurrency address, Intel X, will return results from places not typically visible to the public. It is used by cybersecurity analysts to track down origins of data breaches and by OSINT investigators to find information deleted or hidden from the public internet. PimEyes is a facial recognition search engine. It is both fascinating and deeply unsettling. Upload a photo of a person's face and it scours the internet for other photos of that same person. It searches for that exact face, not lookalikes. It can find your face on social media profiles, news articles, company websites, random blog posts from years ago. Your face itself is a searchable piece of data. One photo can lead to many others along with their context. The privacy lesson, control your most unique identifiers, your data and your face. Your face is now a keyword. Upload a clear photo of yourself and watch what it finds. Social Catfish is a reverse search engine for people. While other tools focus on usernames or emails, Social Catfish allows you to search by name, email, phone number, username, and even by image. It is designed to help people verify identities and avoid online scams, commonly known as catfishing. You can upload a photo from a dating profile and it will search for where else that photo appears. This can quickly expose someone who is using a stolen photo. Exif tool is a different kind of tool, but no less revealing. It is a program that reads metadata hidden inside files. Nearly every photo you take with your phone or digital camera contains hidden data called Exif data. This data can include the exact date and time the photo was taken, the camera model, and most importantly, the precise GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken. When you upload a photo to social media, the platform often strips this data out, but not always. And if you send a photo directly to someone, that data is almost always intact. Consider this scenario. You take a photo of your new dog in your backyard and post it on a public forum. You think you are just sharing a cute picture. But if you did not scrub the EXIF data, you may have just broadcasted the exact GPS coordinates of your home. Someone could use that information to find where you live. This is not a theoretical risk. It happens. Use EXIF tool or an online metadata viewer to inspect your own photos. Creepy is an OSINT tool that focuses on geolocation. Its function is to track a person's movements. It gathers geolocation data from social posts, Twitter with location tags, Foursquare check-ins, Facebook check-ins, creepy aggregates, and plots every location on a map. It creates a history showing where you live, where you work, and places you frequent. Spiderfoot automates OSINT at scale. It's a framework that runs many tools automatically. Give it a target, a domain name, or an email address, or a username. Spiderfoot searches across hundreds of sources. It finds IP addresses, social media accounts, data breaches, associated names. Then it compiles everything into a comprehensive report. Lesson. Aggregation is powerful. One check-in looks harmless. Hundreds of check-ins form a detailed picture. Spiderfoot shows any data point can be a starting point. Start with a blog domain. Spiderfoot can pivot to your name, your email, and your social profiles. We have explored 10 powerful tools. You have seen how a simple username, email, or photo can be used to build a detailed profile of your life. The purpose of this journey was not to scare you. It was to arm you with knowledge. Your mission now is to act. Take the first step today. Take back control of your digital footprint and build a safer future for yourself online.